What's going on everybody? You know who it is, your boy Demo. We are here, we are in my kitchen, and it's that time again. We are going to juice. You know I juice once a week. Um, uh, I usually do it on, let's say, Sundays, but today, you know, I'm gonna kick it up a little bit, plus we ran out of juice, so it is time to juice. If you are somebody that follows me on YouTube and Instagram, you know that I got a new juicer. I got the um, Breville, it's a, a cold XL. Um, the one I had before was a Omega, it was a cold press juicer, which is very beneficial because it's, uh, it uses um, cold press technology to really get nutrients and juices out. Um, now I have the Breville uh, Cold XL juicer. And the whole reason for me upgrading my, um, my juicer was uh, basically, you know, I juice a lot mostly for my wife. You know, she's dealing with uh, CML. And, um, I juice just to give her those, those, those nutrients and, and, and vitamins and minerals that she needs to, you know, to fight this disease. And um, with me using that Omega machine, it was very time consuming. It had a small shoot, which means all my fruits and vegetables, I had to cut them up real small, um, which took a lot of time. And then again, it was a very, it's a cold press machine. Cold press machines, unless you have one of those industrial sized cold press machines, it takes a while. So um, with me doing some research and stuff like that, I found this machine, purchased it, and so far we've been using this machine. I would say um, it is much faster. It has a bigger chute, which means um, you can put, I can put a whole apple in there. I don't have to cut my carrots up. I just put the whole thing right in there and it's super fast. You know, you fill this thing up in no time. The downside to that, um, now when they advertise this machine, they advertise it as a, a cold XL, cold meaning it's a, it's a comparable juicer to, you know, those, those cold press machines. The good thing about those cold press machines are they're supposed to get all the nutrients and minerals, all the juices out of those fruits and vegetables. This particular machine does not do that um, as well. Um, once we start, once we start juicing and you see, you'll see what I'm talking about because I'm going to zoom in on, on certain things when I'm, when I'm juicing, mostly like the waste. You know, you're going to see there's still going to be some juices in there. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I will, um, when it comes to my majority of my fruits, you know, I just run them through once. But because there's so much juice left in the waste, I end up running the, the vegetables through it again just to get more juice out of it. Because it is, it is super fast, which is good, but then it's not getting all the juice out of the vegetables, which is not good. But, you know, you got to sometimes take the good with the bad. I'm in a, I'm at a, I'm at a point right now where I'm kind of contemplating maybe um, pulling the other one out, but the, it, just, it just takes too long with the other one. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this machine. And I, if I have to run the fruits and vegetables two or three times through this machine just to get some more juice out of it, then that's what I have to do. Um, so next thing we are going to do, we are going to go over what I have over here and what I have over here. All right, as you see in this bin right here, we have some, uh, we got some carrots, um, we got some lemons, um, we have some apples, we have some beets, we have the leaves from the beets, and we have uh, red cabbage. Just to give you an idea why it is we have this in here, for one, um, all these ingredients combined taste really good. That's for, that's for one. Um, but more importantly, uh, carrots, for instance, is a good source of vitamins, nutrients, and fiber. It, it's excellent in increasing metabolism. It's a good source of uh, beta carotene and vitamin A, which is good for um, you know, helping improve vision or keeping strong vision. Carrots help with skin disorders, boost the immune systems, and most importantly, um, when it comes to my wife, it's, it's good for um, fighting off cancer. And then the beets, um, the beets are packed with all kinds of essential nutrients such as fiber, vitamin B6, potassium, iron, vitamin C. It improves blood flow, lowers blood pressure. 
It boosts stamina. It also reduces the risk of cancer. It detoxifies the liver and helps in enhancing skin health. You know, all that stuff is good. And then, you know, we have some apples in there. You know, apples, you know, apples consist of a whole lot of, uh, you know, water. So it assists in hydration. It's high in fiber. It contains a number of beneficial plant compounds that, you know, helps with uh, oxidative damage and inflammation. And with those things, it helps with reducing the chance of cancer and also fighting cancer. And, you know, lemons, you know, the lemons are good for, you know, preventing kidney stones, helps the, the digestive system. It assists with skin health, promotes weight loss, and also contains cancer-fighting properties. Now, in here, what we have is, you know, we have, we have kale, we have spinach, you know, kale and spinach, they're loaded with powerful antioxidants to help counteract oxidative damage, which is good for fighting cancer and are loaded with numerous um, vitamins and minerals. And then we already went over the apples. We have some ginger in there. And we all know that ginger is awesome for like fighting off colds and illnesses. You know, it's good for you know treating sore throats and stuff like that. But you know, um, there's a couple other things that it's good for. You know, it relieves congestion. Um, it's a good pain reliever. It improves the digestive system. And um, it's good for controlling the high blood pressure. And then uh, somewhere in here, there's, um, we have some turmeric root. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, nowadays they supplement the turmeric. You know, they have it in a powder form. Here we have the actual root. And the good thing about, you know, turmeric, it's, it's good for reducing arthritis symptoms. It boosts the immune systems, helps in reducing cardiovascular problems. It also helps in treating and preventing cancer. You know, so uh, as you can see, a lot of a lot of stuff that uh, we have in here is, um, you know, awesome, you know, can cancer fighting properties, which is the overall goal. You know, all other stuff is very beneficial as well. Um, all right. So now we're going to go and get to this juicing. All right. Time to get rolling. We're going to light this baby up and we're going to juice this stuff. Like most of these machines, there are some safety um, components put into the machine to keep you from, you know, hurting yourself, cutting off your hand or your finger. You know, you don't want you don't want to lose a limb or, you know, a body part. So this particular one um, is plugged up right now. There is, you know, three different levels to this machine. And I'll go over that after I go over the, you know, how you how you get it started. So in order for this thing to work, you have to push that in, lock it in and then it'll turn on. See? Now, if this isn't locked on there, it will not come on, all right? So, now let me go over the three different levels. So, there is a quiet, a fast, and a boost. Um, the quiet level is for your soft fruits and vegetables. You know, it's very quiet. And you can run certain, certain hard vegetables at that level too, if you don't want it to make a lot of noise. You know, like say if you have a baby and the baby's sleeping, you don't want it to run real loud, so you can run it in quiet. You know, it'll just take a little longer to cut up those, those hard fruits and vegetables. But, you know, for things that are, you know, a little harder in contrast, you put it on fast, and that's for those semi-hard, you know, fruits and vegetables, like your celeries, you know, you have, you know, cabbage and stuff like that. Um, but for your hard one, you know, you put it on boost, which is the super fast speed. And that's for like your apples, your carrots, um, you know, stuff like that, you know, your, your, your beets. You put those in there and it just shreds that stuff right up. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my colorful stuff first. You know, it is the quickest. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out first. So I'm going to... Turn it off. My waste bin is full, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, empty that. All right, here we go. Do some beats next. So 
another thing that's not, definitely not a pro. Um, the way this is designed, um, you can either pull the whole thing off with the chute, but if you do that, the chute will fall into the juice or kind of lift this whole thing up. I guess it's supposed to be made to, when you take this thing apart, for instance, boom, take that apart, you take the lid off with it, and then you break everything down. But if you're, if you're making a couple, uh, you know, a couple of gallons of this stuff, you know, you don't want to have to always have to break this down. So uh, put that to the side. Stir it up a little bit. Time for the greens. Green machine, green machine. Gotta get them greens. Gotta eat them greens. Mama said eat them greens. We drink them greens. We eat the greens and we drink the greens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lock that in there. Oh, I forgot the cucumbers. Another excellent source of uh, hydration and celery because their uh, majority you know, consist of uh, water. So I don't know if you guys will notice while I was juicing um, these vegetables right before this thing filled up the amount of juice that was coming out this chute versus the amount of vegetables that I had. You know, it wasn't much, you know. Look at this compared to um, my carrots and, and, and um, my carrots and apples and, um, and beets and stuff that have a lot of juice content in it versus the vegetables where it's a lot harder to excrete all the juices out of the, uh, veg out, out of the greens. So here is the here are the greens that you know I just I just juiced. You know, this is waste. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it. Uh, you see all that juice coming out of there? Yeah, that's no bueno, that's no good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump it and I'm gonna run it through again and get some more juice out of here. You know, I paid good money for this, these these uh these greens. So I'm gonna make sure and get all the green all the juice out of these greens. So um this time I'm gonna run it. On quiet, and I'm gonna use this cup to kind of pour it in there, so it doesn't make as much of a mess since everything is all chopped up. Everything is all cleaned up. Last thing for me to do is to go ahead and pour out the rest of these bottles and then let them wait for a little bit longer and then go ahead and put them in the freezer and freeze them. All right, that's it. So we are done with the juicing process. Uh, last step for me to do is to go ahead and seal them up, put them in the freezer, let them freeze. And as we need them, we'll put them out overnight, let them defrost and drink them during the day. And that's it, we are done. I'm not trying to bash, you know, Breville and their company. I, 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 lo I, love, I love the juicer. You know, it works for me because it's super fast. 
you know, I'm able to go ahead and knock this out real quick. You know, I can just weigh more than this. This is just what, you know, I put out for right now. And it doesn't really get all the juice that, it, that you expect it to get out of, out, of, uh, out of your fruits and vegetables. You know, more, more so your greens, you know. I mean, your, your fruits too, but the thing is your fruits have so much more juice than your uh, vegetables. So that's why you're still able to get a good amount of, you know, fruit, a good amount of juice from your, um, from your fruits. Honestly, if it was up to me, I'd use both of them. I'd use, I'd use the big one on, you know, my, my, my big stuff that I have to break down on all my smaller stuff, like my, my kale, spinach, you know, celery, stuff that I can put in that little chute. I'd use the other one for that. You know, if you want me to put, put some more stuff out here like this, you know, not just like my fitness stuff, Go ahead, hit that like, that comment. For those that watch and, and, and enjoy these videos, just let me know, give me some ideas, or some stuff you'd like to see me do, or kind of compact and, and dissect, or just execute, and just get my idea on. It doesn't have to be stuff in the gym, it could be stuff health-based, or just, you know, stuff that, you know, deals with everyday living, family, you know, all this stuff revolves around your health and fitness, you know. You know, it's, it's, you know, health and fitness is, is just as much of a psychological thing and a, a spiritual thing than, than any other thing, you know. So, again, love y'all. Boom. Peace.